Welcome to Artis Education. Today we are going to learn about practice set 14. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel for learning mathematics in easy way. So let's start practice set 14. The question 1 is, in the table below, write the place value of each of the digits in the number 378.025 we have to just write the blank places here here they give us the places like hundreds tens units tens hundreds and thousands so for it they write also digits and we have to write their place values so look in the given number first digit is 3 and it is on the hundreds place so its place value is 300 now on tens place there is a 7 digit and its place value is 10 multiplied by 7 it's 70 then here they gives units. Unit have a value 1. So the number on the unit place is 8. Let's multiply 1 into 8. It's 8. Now on the tens place. The value of tens place is 1 upon 10. And on that place 0 is the digit. And its value is 0. So on hundreds place, there is a 2 digit. And we are going to multiply it by 1 upon 100. So the here, the place value of 2, we get is 2 upon 100. That is 0 0.02. And on the thousands place, there is a 5 and by multiplying 1 upon 1000, its place value is 0 0.005. Let's look at the second question, solve. Here they use additions of decimal fractions we are going to add them practice set 14 you have to write first question in your notebook and then write the second question look at the second question solve the first sub question in it is 905 Point five plus twenty seven point one nine seven. Let's add them. Twenty seven point one nine seven. So look here. There is a no number on the hundreds and thousands place. So we can write it as a zero. We can give on that places zero. Now it's easy to us to add these numbers. Zero plus seven, it's seven. Zero plus nine, it's nine. Five plus one, it's six. You have to write decimal point in given place so write here first decimal point and then add the next number 5 plus 7 it's 12 1 is carry forward 2 plus 1 it's 3 and next is 9 so our addition for first question is 932.697 
The second sub question is thirty nine plus seven hundred point six five. Thirty nine plus seven hundred point six five. Write it in your notebook. Just add them. Thirty nine plus seven hundred point six five. For addition, you just have to write the digits on the places. Here also there is no decimal point on the number, so how can we write thirty nine in decimal point? It is written as. Thirty nine point zero zero. Now it's easy to us to add. Look, zero plus five, it's five. Zero plus six, it's six. Then write here decimal point. Then nine plus zero, it's nine. Three plus zero, it's three, and seven. Seven hundred thirty nine point sixty five. It is easy to add decimal fractions. Now the third fraction is forty plus twenty seven point seven plus two point four five one. Just write it in twenty-seven point seven plus two. Now two is a on the unit place, so we have to write it in the unit place. And use decimal places. For the numbers, those who haven't more decimal places, so we give you give your decimal places written as zero. Here, forty is written like this. Now add it. Zero plus zero plus one, it's one. Zero plus zero plus five, it's five. Zero plus seven plus four, it's eleven. Now it is on the tens place. So once one is carried on the tens place. So right here one and here we have to carry one on the tens place. Then give a decimal point, and then. Add the next numbers. Seven plus two, it's nine, and carried one, it's ten. Right here, zero, and one is carry forward. Four plus two, it's six. Plus one, it's seven. Our answer is seventy point one five one. The third question is subtract. Here also they gives us three problems. Eighty five point ninety six minus two point three four five is the first question asks to us for subtraction. Eighty five point ninety six or nine six minus two point three four five. Let's subtract it. Just write it in vertical. Eighty five point nine six minus. Now look here, two is on the unit place, so we have to write two on the unit place. Then give a point and write three, four, and five. We arrange the numbers. So that the places and decimal points come one below to the other. 
now here on the thousands place there is a no number so give here zero and let's subtract in the normal way that we are subtracting a number can't subtract 5 from 0 let's get 1 from 6 it's a 5 and it's a 10 10 minus 5 it's 5 5 minus 4 it's 1 9 minus 3 it's 6 place your decimal point then 5 minus 2 it's 3 and write 8 as it is so our answer for first subtraction is 83.615 now the next question is given the second question is 632.24 minus 97.45 here the decimal places are same so it's easy to us to subtract them 632.24 minus 97.45 now subtract it in a normal way 14 minus 5 it's 9 then 11 minus 4 it's 7 then again 11 minus 7 it's 4 give the decimal point point don't forget to give a decimal point then 12 minus 9 it's 3 and it's a 5 534.79 I taking carry numbers in my mind and our answer is 534.79 for the second subtraction look at the third question the third question is 200.005 minus 17.186 look here we are going to write it in vertical order minus 17.186 so just Take here borrowed ones while taking a borrowed one we get here here is one here is a ten tens then from one here is also ten tens here makes it nine from ten tens when we borrowed it on tens place it becomes tens here it becomes nine then again borrowed it and again this is 15 here the number we get is 15 so 15 minus 6 it's 9, 9 minus 8, it 1, 9 minus 1, it is 8, give the decimal point, don't forget to give it, then 9 minus 7, it's 2, 9 minus 1, it's 8, and 1. You just have to forget, while subtracting or makes addition of decimal points, and 
but remember you have to give it on your answer so i subtract here the number as we subtract normally and then i give here a decimal point you notice that it is so easy to subtract and add the decimal fractions we learnt it in fifth standard also so just practice it very well and you have to write the given number in proper places while we have to arrange it in vertical order or arrange it vertically for our addition or subtraction you have to place them place their digits in proper places hope you will understand practice it very well and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and if you wants to look more videos press on the i button then you can go to that videos thank you